The power of a captivating introduction. Have you ever started reading a book and immediately felt hooked? That's the power of a captivating introduction. It draws you into the world the writer has created. A strong introduction sets the stage and piques your curiosity. Think of it as the first impression, the initial spark. What makes an introduction truly captivating? Let's discuss in the comments below. Section 2. Unveiling the magic of storytelling. Storytelling is the lifeblood of captivating writing. It's the art of weaving words into narratives that resonate with our human experience, evoking emotions, sparking imaginations, and leaving a lasting impact. From ancient myths and legends to modern day novels and films, stories have the power to transport us to different worlds, introduce us to unforgettable characters, and teach us profound lessons about ourselves and the world around us. But what is it about stories that captivates us so? Why are we drawn to narratives, whether they're fictional or based on real life events? Stories tap into our innate desire to connect, to find meaning and purpose in the world. When we engage with a well-told story, we're not just passively consuming information, we're actively participating in an emotional journey. We empathize with the characters, we feel their triumphs and their struggles, and we learn from their experiences. What are some of your favorite stories and why do they resonate with you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Section 3. Finding your unique voice. Embrace your authenticity. In a world saturated with content, finding your unique voice is paramount. It's about embracing your individuality, your perspective and your experiences, and allowing them to shine through in your writing. It's not about imitating others or trying to fit into a mold. It's about letting your authentic self take center stage. But how do you uncover your unique voice? How do you break free from the mold and let your true colors shine through your words? Finding your voice is a journey of self-discovery. It's about exploring your passions, your values, and your beliefs, and allowing them to shape your writing. It's about experimenting with different styles, tones, and perspectives until you find the one that feels most authentic to you. What steps can you take today to begin uncovering your unique voice? Share your thoughts and aspirations in the comments below. Section 4. Crafting Compelling Content. Engage your readers. In the digital age where attention spans are shrinking and content is abundant, crafting compelling content is more crucial than ever. It's about capturing your reader's attention from the first sentence and holding it until the very last word. It's about providing value, sparking curiosity, and leaving a lasting impression. But what makes content truly compelling? How can you create writing that resonates with your audience and keeps them coming back for more? Compelling content is engaging, informative, and relevant to your target audience. It's well-written, well-structured, and visually appealing. It's not about fluff or filler, it's about delivering substance and value in a way that is both informative and enjoyable. Think about a piece of content that you found truly compelling. What made it stand out? Share your insights in the comments below. Section 5. The Importance of Clarity and Conciseness. Write to express, not to impress. In the realm of writing, clarity and conciseness are paramount. It's about expressing your thoughts and ideas in a way that is easily understood, avoiding unnecessary jargon, convoluted sentences, and verbose language. It's about writing to express, not to impress, ensuring that your message shines through with clarity and precision. But how do you achieve clarity and conciseness in your writing? What are some practical tips for ensuring that your message is clear, concise, and easy to understand? Clarity and conciseness require careful thought, deliberate word choice, and a willingness to edit ruthlessly. It's about getting to the heart of your message and conveying it in the most straightforward and impactful way possible. Take a moment to reflect on your own writing. Do you tend to write concisely or do you sometimes find yourself using more words than necessary? Share your insights in the comments below. Section six, mastering the art of editing, refine and polish your work. Editing is an integral part of the writing process, often overlooked but undeniably crucial. It's about refining your work, polishing your prose, and ensuring that your message is communicated with clarity, precision, and impact. 
It's about taking a step back from your writing, viewing it with a critical eye, and making necessary revisions to enhance its overall quality. But why is editing so important? What are the key benefits of taking the time to revise and refine your work? Editing allows you to identify and correct errors in grammar, spelling, punctuation, and syntax, ensuring that your writing is polished and professional. It also provides an opportunity to improve clarity, conciseness, and flow, making your writing more engaging and easier to read. What are some of your go-to editing techniques? Share your tips and tricks in the comments below. Section 7. The Power of Feedback. Embrace Constructive Criticism. Feedback is an invaluable tool for growth and improvement in writing. It's about seeking out perspectives from others, embracing constructive criticism, and using it to refine your craft. It's about recognizing that even the most seasoned writers can benefit from an outside perspective, a fresh pair of eyes to identify areas for improvement. But why is feedback so crucial? How can embracing constructive criticism help you become a better writer? Feedback provides valuable insights into how your writing is perceived by others. It can help you identify blind spots, areas where your message may not be as clear or impactful as you intended. Constructive criticism, when received with an open mind and a willingness to learn, can help you refine your writing, strengthen your arguments, and connect with your audience on a deeper level. Have you ever received feedback that significantly improved your writing? Share your experiences in the comments below. Section 8. Overcoming Writer's Block Unleash Your Creativity Writer's Block. That dreaded feeling of being stuck, uninspired and unable to put words on paper is a common experience for writers of all levels. It can manifest as a blank page that refuses to be filled, a persistent inability to find the right words, or a nagging feeling of self-doubt that paralyzes your creativity. But how do you overcome writer's block and unleash your creative flow? What strategies can you employ to break free from the shackles of stagnation and reignite your passion for writing? Overcoming writer's block is often a matter of shifting your perspective, trying new techniques and giving yourself permission to experiment without judgment. It's about silencing your inner critic, that nagging voice that whispers doubts and stifles creativity, and embracing a mindset of exploration and playfulness. What are some of your go-to strategies for overcoming writer's block? Share your tips and insights in the comments below. Section 9. The joy of sharing your work. Finding your audience. Sharing your work with others can be both exhilarating and daunting. It's about putting yourself out there, exposing your thoughts and ideas to the world, and inviting others to engage with your creativity. It's about finding your audience, those who resonate with your words and appreciate your unique perspective. But why is sharing your work so important? What are the benefits of letting your writing out into the world? Sharing your work allows you to connect with others who share your interests, passions, and values. It provides an opportunity to receive feedback, to learn from others, and to grow as a writer. It's about contributing your voice to the vast and ever-evolving tapestry of human expression. What are some of your favorite platforms or communities for sharing your writing? Share your recommendations in the comments below. Section 10. The never-ending journey of a writer. Embrace lifelong learning. The journey of a writer is a continuous process of learning, growth, and evolution. It's about embracing a mindset of lifelong learning, constantly seeking out new knowledge, honing your craft, and expanding your horizons. It's about recognizing that there is always more to learn, more to explore, and more to discover in the vast and ever-evolving world of writing. But why is lifelong learning so crucial for writers? How can embracing a growth mindset enhance your writing journey? Lifelong learning allows you to stay current with evolving trends in language, style, and technology. It exposes you to new genres, voices, and perspectives, enriching your writing and broadening your creative horizons. It's about cultivating a spirit of curiosity, a thirst for knowledge that fuels your passion for writing and propels you forward on your creative journey. What are some of your favorite resources for continuous learning as a writer? Share your recommendations in the comments below. Section 11. Conclusion. The transformative power of writing. Writing possesses a transformative power. 
It can inspire, educate, entertain, and connect us profoundly. It allows us to express thoughts, share stories, and make sense of the world. It is a tool for self-discovery and change. As we conclude, remember the journey